Welcome back. The 32nd Conference of the Southern African Association for Research in Mathematics, Science and Technology Education is set to take place soon under the theme Rethinking Relevant Research in Mathematics, Science and Technology Education for the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Now to share more on the conference, we are now joined by Ida Bon, who is the Deputy Executive Director in the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, as well as Martha Nyamakuti, the Chairperson of the 2024 Sarmster Conference. Ladies, good evening and welcome. Good evening. Thank you, for having good evening. Thank you so much for being here. To begin with, uh, of course, Namibia has been selected uh, to play host uh, for the Sarmster uh, 2024 Conference, Martha. Perhaps you can talk to us and provide some information about the, um, you know, know, the nature of Sarmster to start with and, of course, offer more detail about uh, this upcoming conference. Thank you. Thank you for having us in the studio tonight. As we would like to share the good news and opportunity, an amazing opportunity, of course, coming to Namibia. Yes, SAMSTE is coming to Namibia. SAMSTE is an acronym for Southern African Association for Research in Mathematics, Science, Technology, Education. Uh, just to give you a brief um, overview of where SAMSTE is coming from, this is a non profitable organization, of course, that was established in 1992 with the need for a workshop for teachers in mathematics and science education only. So initially it was SAMSTE, but with the demand and challenge um, component that come with the technology, of course, then it was adapted to be SAMSTE, mm -hmm. hence the T in the, uh, um, uh, in the, in the acronym. So um, I'm quite honored to, uh, of course, inform the Namibian nation that uh, Namibia, by the way, won a bid early this year at the 31st SAMSTE conference in Bluefontein, South Africa, um, of course, where the four Namibian scholars went to do their presentations in, in, in research. Yes, um, this conference is coming to Namibia is in collaboration, of course, with um, different institutions. Mm -hmm. We are collaborating. I should just highlight that Namibia is hosting SAMSTE, and the institution have collaborated to make SAMSTE a reality. And these institutions are IUM, UNAM, NAST, NCRST, Ministry of Education, Art and Culture, Ministry of Higher Education, Technology and Innovation, and of course, um, I believe NCRST, NAS, IUM, NAS, UNAM, and I have mentioned all of them. Mm -hmm. So these are the, the institutions that, that are collaborating, although IUM is going to serve as the venue for the conference. So we are collaborating, of course, because we believe that if we combine our expertise and our resources, of right. course, we can make a remarkable outcome for our country and for the global academic community. Just elaborate for me a bit on the theme that was chosen and how it aligns you know, with the current challenges and also the opportunities in mathematics, mathematics education in, in Southern Africa region? Um, the conference for um, 2024 conference, uh, I mean the theme, as you, you have already indicated, is rethinking relevant research in mathematics, science and technology. We are all quite aware that we are uh, the, the, uh, the, the fourth industrial revolution is transforming the, the, the world at unprecedented fast pace. So we when we are faced with this automated um, you know, society. So we need then to rethink how we carry out the research in mathematics, science, and technology education mm -hmm. to make sure that it's ethical, it's relevant, and it's meaningful. More so, also to make sure that we position ourselves very well for um, our, ourselves, basically, and the future generation in terms of the fourth industrial revolution. But to add to that, is also to make sure that this um, transformative uh, type of approach, it's also become environmental uh, friendly at the end of the day. So these are basically just uh, um, the, the, some of the, the guiding um, approaches that we look forward to as we are going to engage in the discourse and unpacking. So really, it's, it's, this theme is aligning very well with the need of educator and students because it's encouraging exploration to solutions of the current challenges that we are facing in the uh, education landscape in Southern Africa. Thank you. Madam Bon, talk to us from the ministry's perspective and, and, and you know how uh, the significance of a conference such as this um, is in shaping policies and strategies for mathematics education um, within our country. Yeah, remember in 2022, uh, we had the Transforming Education Summit uh, generated by the uh, United Nations and through UNESCO, UNICEF and other um, 
agencies. We, as Namibia Education Sector, we participated in, in steering um, the, uh, what we call the Action Track 1 Inclusive, Equitable, Safe and Healthy Schools. So mm -hmm. this initiative of a research in education, in education of math, science, technology and engineering articulates well to that, you know, priorities that were identified within the transforming education, that it's, you know, uh, getting the foundation phase right, but um, reaping the maximum benefits from ICT in education. So uh, using ICT as an enabler to, to reach those hard to reach, but also in terms of inc inclusivity, mm -hmm. uh, what are the best practices out there, you know, um, when it comes to assistive devices, uh, voice modulation, or, you know, transcribing from, from Braille to, right. you know, to audio and so on. So there are various researchers out there, especially relevant to education teaching and learning of math, science, technology and engineering yeah. that, that are of interest to us. And I'm sure that the best practices will come out. And it also puts Namibia on the map, uh, not just in Africa, but, but you know, in the region, SADAC, right. because it's a Southern African uh, Research uh, Association. And um, that is where we see uh, the education sector uh, reaping, you know, benefiting yeah, from this yeah. exercise. Elaborate for me a little bit more, you know, in terms of uh, the ministry's collaborative efforts with academic institutions, researchers and other stakeholders to enhance, um, you know, the quality of mathematics education in Namibia. Yeah. In, in, with mathematics in particular, yes, it is uh, also research proven that mathematics can be a driver and, and all science subjects for socioeconomic development. So in, in Namibia, we have that uh, slight ambivalence towards mathematics being, you know, oh, it's a difficult subject. It should not be compulsory. But uh, the, the uh, actions of the education sector in, in, I mean, that was already 2005, uh, where, you know, where critical minds came together and, and formulated a, a sector improvement plan and program where, where mathematics and science were proposed to be compulsory. So mm -hmm. from that angle, it articulates way, well to us. So we are looking forward in, in uh, finding more arguments for that, but also unpacking the, you know, the, the teacher ability right. to cope and teach the learning content right. of today. Right. So that's where our collaboration with the institutions of higher learning is, is um, emphasized and solidified. And you know, the dialogue continues they, uh, in terms of uh, research in to our curriculum implementation, what works, what does not work. And we have seen that it is of vital importance to build the teacher capacity to be ready to deliver uh, the curriculum at hand. In your opinion, Madam Bon, how can the outcomes of uh, you know, the SAMHSA 2024 conference influence education policies related to mathematics in Namibia? And are there you know, uh, specific policy changes or developments that the ministry is considering um, based on current research and, and discussions? Yeah, I mean, the one uh, most popular now pronounced by the tertiary institutions of Namibia, that's the Institution of Higher Learning, is in particular the, the collaborative uh, research outcome between NAST and UNAM and, and stakeholders regarding, you know, gender in education and uh, in terms of uh, all the investments used to go to the girl child, leaving the boy child behind. So this research regarding uh, the, the underperformance of the boy child in education has been recently published by uh, the two universities. And that is just an example how the two or, or how research and policy formulation have to come together and inform each other. So yes, it is still, gender is still on, um, I mean, in, in the sense of strengthening the girl child and supporting the girl child. And, and, you know, gender equality in terms of affirmative action and so on. But we, we see now that that has had a negative influence on the boy child. Or we can say, with all the focus on the girl child, we, we overlooked certain elements. Right. 
that needs strengthening. And that research in particular brings out that, uh, for example, sports, sports for development and PE, physical education for life, are so important. And these are two uh, emerging policies that, and, and documents, uh, teacher training documents, as well as you know, guidelines and, and um, the collaboration with the Ministry of Youth, Sport and National Service mm -hmm. has been strengthened throughout. And we have to just continue uh, implementing recommendations coming out of such research. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time, ladies, but Martha, I want to ask you just briefly and very lastly, what legacy or lasting impact, you know, does um, uh, SAMHSA 24 aim to achieve in terms of advan advancing mathematics um, education and, and fostering collaboration? Okay. Um, the um, SAMHSA Local Organizing Committee, the SAMHSA Advisory Board, and the SAMHSA Executive, of course, they have made effort to make sure that there are different representations in terms of the background and institutions. Paper coming through with different themes, of course. We are also looking at that inviting people from different demographics. We are expecting people from all over the globe, 300 to 350 to 400 delegates that are coming. That is an indication already in terms of, of, of diversity, inclusivity, we are anticipating fifth, more than uh, 50, of course, professional educators coming from the Ministry of Education, of course, here. And really, we, we, we just look forward to uh, um, having more of topics that are inclusive in terms of um, curriculum and decolonizations and how we can be able to tap. Allow me quickly just in a space to talk about the plenary speaker in terms of diversity is that we have uh, three plenary speaker, our very own Dr. Faustina Neshila from UNAM, Namibian plenary speaker, technology, Johannes Kroenje from South Africa, and then we would be having the one for science, which is who is um, Prof. Philip from India. And that really speaks to diversity and inclusivity. Fantastic. Well, all the best with the conference and thank you so much ladies for your time and being here this evening. It was lovely having you. Thank, thank you, you so much Nina and all the best too. Well, when we come back we speak women in AI ethics. Stay with us after this short break. <laughs>